Okay, so each one is a 6.6, .6, and then what's the maximum per stack? But what's the warranty going to look like? And maybe, is the company even going to be around in 10 years? Briggs & Stratton being a 115-year-old company is going to be here to help support that warranty when that time does come. Within about three or four hours of running time, the generator will be powering the house, but it'll also be recharging the battery at the same time. Then you can shut your generator off, save your... You're wondering, what, what's the cost? Now, I know you can't give us a specific dollar price, but compared to some of the other solutions that are on the market... The Smarter Way to Go Solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from Inner Solar North America, which is the big solar conference here in San Diego. And this afternoon I'm joined by Daniel Moyer, sales support trainer at Briggs & Stratton, and we're looking at the Briggs & Stratton Simplify 6.6. .6. So Daniel, it's really nice to meet you, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having us, and I'm a big fan of the channel, I really love the Earth channel and I'm excited to be here. What we have today is our stacking 6.6 .6, uh, Simplify battery. It's 48 volt nominal, and what we are is an inverter agnostic battery. So we partner with a lot of other inverter brands. We really like Solark, they're great. They were the first to market with their hybrid inverter. Having that 200 amp pass through on the 15K inverter was really game changing, right? We could back up the entire house. But additionally, having a battery that's capable of discharging quickly enough to support that 15K is really important. So we're really excited. Each one of these modules is 6.6 .6 kilowatt hours. And then we have on top what we call our controller. That's where you're gonna do your home runs. And additionally, you have the battery monitor up top. Okay, so each one is 6.6, .6, and then what's the maximum per stack? It's 20 kilowatt hours, right? Just under 20 kilowatt hours. And we do that for the NFPA 855 regulations. You can stack up to six stacks to bring you up just to under 120 kilowatt hours. Okay, great, great. Now you mentioned earlier compatibility with 48 volt inverters like the Solark. Now how much power can you get out of a full battery stack? Because I, I believe the Solark will, will do 15K of AC output, correct? Yeah, that's right. So okay. the Solark 15K can do 12,000 watts just from batteries. And then if you add a little solar, you can do 15K. One stack can discharge at 14,000 watts continuous. I don't really expect a lot of people to discharge it in just one hour, but if they need to, they can be able to surge that as well. That's great. Now tell us about the battery chemistry. I assume this is the lithium iron phosphate chemistry now? That's right. Almost everybody in the industry, as you know, has moved over to lithium iron phosphate, right? It's safer. It's not as energy dense, but that doesn't really matter because a lot of these are stationary batteries. We're not moving them around. So we're able to achieve what we're looking for in a safe uh, chemistry like LFP. Excellent. Speaking of safety, now are these rated for, for indoor and outdoor installation or where, where, where must they be installed? So these are rated for indoor and outdoor installations. One thing, you know, we realize in this industry, is, especially as we see these energy storage systems going into other parts of the country, like the Minnesotas, like the Wisconsin, which is where Briggs & Stratton is headquartered, like the Northeast, we see these things going outside in cold weather. And we know lithium iron phosphate chemistries have a hard time in cold weather. What are the options? We can do heaters, right? Those are great. They do use up energy to heat. So what we've done a little bit is optimize some of the electrolyte in the cell structure so we can operate down to 14 degrees Fahrenheit and still not need to use heaters in those applications. Absolutely, we can put these indoors or outdoors. Excellent, okay. Now we're talking about extreme weather conditions and let's talk about in a pure off-grid application. You know, a lot of times, especially for you who've been following the channel for a while, if you're going to be in like a true off-grid application or you're, you're setting your home up to, to survive a prolonged grid down event, you know, one of the things I often recommend is have a fuel burning generator option to back up your solar and batteries. That way if you hit a patch of bad weather, your batteries drain down, the solar can't keep up with ch charging the batteries, so you can fire up the generator. So you have a model generator here. And let's talk more about that, because Briggs & Stratton, traditionally Briggs & Stratton is, was a fuel burning generator company, right, before getting into solar. So can you speak a little bit more about the history and the, and the transition? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you're absolutely right. Off-grid has always leveraged generators, right? To be able to charge up the batteries during the winter, during those dark months where you're not getting the solar insulation that you're looking for. Briggs & Stratton still is making millions of gas engines every year, and we're still making our generators as well. What we're looking at is a 26K generator. It's either propane or natural gas. And what we can do is use a hybrid inverter like a Solar that can detect the state of charge of the battery. Once the batteries start to get low, we can then charge up that battery 
and then shut the generator off, saving fuel, saving noise, saving the runtime, and also the maintenance as well. We have a couple innovative technologies, it's called NG Max. I think a lot of people on the channel might not realize that generators always derate when you run them on natural gas. On propane, you're gonna get a 22K out of a 22K generator. We've done some things to optimize the ignition timing, the intake exhaust manifold, so that if you run on propane or natural gas, you're still gonna get your 22K out of that generator. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC-coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. That's great. And you know, you touched on a good point too, because when, when you have a generator backing up your solar, the idea is not, oh, if, if it's a cloudy day, you run your generator all day that day. What we're talking about is the generator is integrated with the solar in the battery system. So if the battery falls below, let's say the battery falls below 20%, the inverter will tell the generator to turn on. And within about three or four hours of running time, the generator will be powering the house, but it'll also be recharging the battery at the same time, then you can shut your generator off, save your fuel, and run for another day off of battery power. So it does help you stretch your fuel supply. You don't have to have a noisy generator running all night, right, during the evening hours, but you at least know you have a, another layer, layer of redundancy. You're not gonna be completely without power, uh, even if you hit a patch of bad weather. Yeah, and we see that even in on-grid now with people that have an existing generator. There's a ways to, leave the transfer switch in place and still couple that into the system as well. So it's really exciting. It's been a new thing for me, but to see sometimes these battery backup systems paired with generators without solar. Of course, I imagine a lot of people will want to add solar as soon as they realize they can start uh, converting that uh, sun energy into battery power. Yeah, and again, this is, I think, why solar and batteries, this is like the, more, the most secure energy supply that you have, because once you have all this in place, you're, you, you have physical custody of everything you need. You can collect energy, you can store it, you have the generator as a backup option, but basically you, you, can, you can take or leave the power company on your own terms once you have that kind of a setup, right? And you can renew it day after day after day. Every day the solar panels take over, recharge the battery, you can run off the battery for another day, and you can do that for months or weeks or even years at a time uh, in theory. Now, Daniel, I know you mentioned Solark, and we like the guys at Solark as well. I think they have a great product with the Solark 15K. Uh, what are some of the other inverter brands that you that you inter interface with? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a lot of other hybrid inverters coming to market. We're really excited to be partnering with Mega Revo, Solus as well, many other ones. We just if we got closed loop communications talking between the battery and the inverter, we're good to go. You know, one thing I did want to mention though is the Briggs and Stratton is a generator company and a battery company. So really we can be experts in both. Additionally, we know a lot about the inverters on the market. So if you're working with us, we can be that one to go to shop for both the generators and the batteries to work with you together and help solve your problems. They are warrantied both for on-grid and off-grid, the generators and the batteries. Great, speaking of warranties, what is the warranty? Is it a 10 year or? Yeah, that's right, it's a 10 year warranty, unlimited cycles with no throughput. So it's really important to not just look at maybe the upfront cost of a battery, but what's the warranty gonna look like? And maybe, is the company even gonna be around in 10 years? Briggs & Stratton being a 115 year old company is gonna be here to help support that warranty when that time does come. Well, that's a good point. You know, one of the issues that we've been dealing with in the industry in the past couple of years is all these business failures, you know, whether it's on the manufacturer side or on, on the installer side. Um, and then you mentioned something about there, there's no throughput limit on the, on the warranty because here where we are now, right, we're in California. A lot of folks that are gonna be installing solar and in, in storage here in California, they're gonna be using the battery every day because they lost net metering. Those of you who've been watching for a while, you know what we're talking about. There, there's no more one for one net metering here in Southern California. So in order to get the best bang for your buck from solar, you're gonna be running off that battery every night. So can you, can you speak a little bit to that, yeah. to that da daily use application? Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, we deal with a lot of uh, generator installers and you know, a generator 
uh, is just sitting there waiting for a backup. What really makes batteries a lot more powerful is your ability to be a grid interactive appliance, is what I like to call it. Do time of use. Maybe you don't have net metering in the time the net metering, right? We're gonna store all of our energy in the battery during the day and then discharge the battery at night to cover the home loads. We're gonna do everything in our power to not use the grid. Yep, yep. Okay, now I know a lot of people out there wondering what, what's the cost? Now I know you can't give us a specific dollar price, but compared to some of the other solutions that are on the market, where are you going to fall in terms of price or, or price per kilowatt hour capacity? So I would say we're not going to be at the lower end, right? What we can be though, and I always like to think of cost per kilowatt hour, not just the system cost as well. But what we can bring is a lot of value. Like I mentioned, we have a long history of American-based manufacturing and engineering support. And the ability for us to honor that warranty is really going to add to the value of that, that product when you do look at that price. Great, great. So for folks that want to get their hands on it, where, where are you selling now? Where can they buy it? Are you going through distribution? Are you selling direct? Absolutely, distribution, right? We love to support our Solagent, the Green Techs, all of the other distributors that are out there that are really supporting us. And you can contact them and get your pricing uh, from them. Great. Well, folks, this has been a chat with Daniel Moyer from Simplify. We're looking at the Simplify 6.6 .6 lithium iron phosphate modular stackable battery system. Uh, by the way, folks, if you're getting good value from these videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos coming out, we're going to be here in San Diego. We're going to be shooting videos all week of some of the new product releases and product developments. So if you want to stay up to date with all that stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And that way it'll show up on your recommendations. But that pretty much does it for today's presentation. Daniel, I thank you for I thank you, and I'm such a fan of the channel. And um, yeah, you better believe I'm a subscriber. Thank you again. Well, now you're, now you're part of it. Well, folks, that does it for today's video. Uh, as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.